makinig manood na sa teleradyo Makinig manood na sa teleradyo Teleradyo, teleradyo Marcelo Sa gitna ng mapanubok na panahon Magkahatid sa tagakibat ay diskusyon Sama-sama tayo Panginoon Diyos, maraming salamat po sa pagkakataong ibinigay ninyo sa aming lahat upang makapag-aral sa gitna ng pandemya. Salamat po sa pagbibigay ninyo sa amin ng mga taong matsagang hinuhubog ang aming isipan sa Magandang buhay sa lahat ng ating tagapakinig sa ikalabing isang baitang. Ito ang Teleradyo Marcelo, ang telearalan ng bawat Del Pilarian. Ako ang inyong lingkod, Ginang Sharon Brila, mula sa Marcelo H. Del Pilar National High School. Handa na ba ang lahat? Siguraduhin na isagawa na ang inyong iba't ibang gawain dahil sa ilang sandali lamang ay magsisimula na ang ating talakayan. Magandang araw sa ating masisipag na binata at dalaga. Narito si Binibining Kimberly Facey Diaz upang samahan kayo sa landas ng pagkatuto sa asignaturang Earth and Life Science. Aasahan kong pagkatapos ng leksyon ay kaya niyo nang gawin ang ipagagawa ng inyong guro. Huwag na nating patagalin pa. Narito si Binibining Kimberly Facey Diaz upang tayo magsimula. Makinig, manood na sa teleradyo. Makinig, manood na sa teleradyo. Teleradyo, teleradyo Marcelo. Wonderful day, Del Pilarians! Welcome to another agamazing episode of Earth and Life Science. I am Ma'am Kim, your instructor for today, live here at Teleradio Marcelo, ang telearalan ng bawat Del Pilarian. Learning is fun when shared with everyone. So together, we will explore and discover science facts that will tickle your kid imagination. Remember that with science, nothing is Kim possible. So, are you ready? If so, let's ready our pens and our modules as we begin with our discussion for today. Let's have a short recap on what we have learned from our previous session with Sir Raymark. Can you still remember? All right, so comment down below your answers and I will read them one by one. Okay, let's see. I'm waiting for your answers. What have you learned from our previous session? Can you still remember the topic? All right. So we are having uh, participants from ABM here. Shout out ABM guys. Alright. Okay, so uh, while while waiting, let us let us proceed with our presentation for today. So last time we talked about genetic engineering. Could you still remember? Comment your answers and let's read it one by one. Okay, all right, 
So last time or last topic, it allowed us to have a knowledge about genetic engineering, its processes, which include definition, techniques, methods used, as well as the risk factors or benefits we derive from the processes involved in genetic engineering. Okay, so now, do you think these GMOs could create positive or negative impact from our health and society? What do you think? Negative or positive? Comment your answers and let's read it one by one. Okay. All right. So some here says it's positive. Okay, some answers, some answer negative. Okay, so I, I'm happy and I am glad to see intelligent opinions about GMOs. And it's impressive that you all know uh, all these uh, ideas concerning genetically modified organisms. All right, so now let's proceed to our motivation part. Guess the movie. Yes, you heard it right. So you are going to guess the title of the movie. So you're going to comment your answers in the chat box. And uh, the, the movie is all about uh, animals which played important characters in this animated flick. Okay, can we have the first picture? Let's see the first picture here. All right. So, from what movie is this? And still remember? Oh, we have here Ramon Reyes says both. Yeah, of course, it has positive and negative impact. Good job on that, Ramon. Very good. All right. So, anyway, going back. So, from what movie is this? It starts with letter P. Okay, do you see Captain Hook? over there very good leo it's peter pan good roman reyes says peter pan madel gabrielle yeah it's peter pan you are correct so the first picture is from the movie peter pan next slide next what do we have here okay so as you can see there is a princess and there is a frog so what do you think is the movie title oh angelica lucas very good peter pan that's correct yes arveline hello arveline it's peter pan yes correct so that's the first picture how about the second one you can see a princess and a frog what do you think? Are you a Disney princess? Are you a Disney prince? Okay, so if so, you should know this movie title. All right, very good. So it is Frog Prince. Yes, this is from the Frog Prince movie. Awesome. Okay, let's have the third picture. What do you think? Okay, so we see bees. From what movie is this? Yes, Arvelin, it's Princess and the Frog, but the correct title is The Frog Prince. Okay. Next, what do you think about this movie? There are bees. So... From the picture itself, you could guess the right title. Yes, that's correct, Arveline. It's B. Good job. Okay, let's have the next slide. Next. Let's have the next slide. Oh, you can see fishes. So, could you still remember the little orange fish here? 
Even though he is so tiny, his heart is big as the ocean. So what do you think is the movie title? What do you think? It's our favorite. Finding what? Right. So Finding Nemo. Awesome. Okay. Let's have the next one. Oh, this is the last picture. Okay, so as you can see, there are bluebirds. Right. Madel, Roman, Jasmine, Rap Custodio. That is the correct answer. Finding Nemo. What about the next picture? Okay, do you see uh, bluebirds? So a flock of bluebirds here. Could you still remember Jewel and uh, Blue? Yeah. Right! Angelica! Oh, I'm sorry, but it's not Angry Bird. <laughs> Alright, it's... Yes, Kian, Fausto, Marwin, Madel, Leo, and Arveline. You are correct. That's Rio. So, we all love the love story of Blue and Jewel. Alright. Now, it is, an, it is amazing that you are aware of the movie titles. We all grew up watching these movies and we found it amazing how the characters of these animals can teach us valuable lessons about life. Isn't it? Okay. And because I remarked on about animals, something I prepared for you today is about organ systems of some animals are you ready all right so if so let's proceed with our lesson but before that let me read to you the objective of our discussion for today at the end of the lesson you should be able to describe the general and unique characteristics of the different organ systems in representative animals Okay, and to start our lesson proper, let's watch this video first and make sure to jot down notes and later we will discuss about it. Enjoy watching! and bones. Scientists at the University of California have consequently postulated purring could alleviate muscle atrophy and bone density loss. Dr. Leslie Lyons suggested this could be useful for astronauts who have spent long periods of time in zero gravity where muscle atrophy is a serious problem. Hibernating animals aren't sleeping. Hibernating creatures should be distinguished from merely sleeping. The process is known as torpor and is a state of decreased physiological activity. This is achieved by lowering body temperature and metabolic rates. Many animals enter long bouts of hibernation for seasonal reasons, whilst others have bouts of daily torpor. A rattlesnake's rattle is interlocked keratin. The legendary rattle is made up of hollow segments which are interlocked by keratin hyenas. They're equipped with tough skin, endless energy, and since they're so aggressive, few predators hunt them. As a consequence, 
Honey badgers are classed as least concern on the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Panda ants have a secret. These small insects are wasps. Ants evolved from wasps, and panda ants are part of the family of Mutilidae, which is made up of around 3,000 different species of wasps. The different species are often referred to as velvet ants, presumably as the wingless females resemble large ants. They also pack a nasty sting and are regarded as cow killers. Great white sharks are highly enigmatic. Despite modern research methods, these remarkable sharks remain puzzling. They lead solitary lives and swim enormous distances, making it difficult for scientists to observe them. Due to this, it is still largely unknown how the species reproduces. Despite the fear they provoke, great whites are vital to the ocean's ecosystem, but overfishing could be pushing them towards extinction. Hamsters aren't nocturnal. Chronobiology examines how creatures react to solar slash lunar rhythms. Hamsters rise at antisocial human hours, and it's common belief they're nocturnal. However, it's now widely considered they are crepuscular, active between twilight, as their peak activity can be observed during dawn and dusk. Cats can rehydrate by drinking seawater. A cat's kidneys are so efficient, it's possible for them to exist on a diet of meat, and they can rehydrate by drinking seawater. Their carnivorous ways, however, are mandatory. It is a struggle for them to digest plants, although they can often be observed chewing on grass. Dolphins use biological sonar. Dolphins have remarkable eyesight and can hear frequencies 10 times over what an average adult human can. Its sensory abilities are so evolved that it can monitor its environment to an incredible degree. Senses such as echolocation, biological sonar, and what is believed to be an ability to navigate by the Earth's magnetic field are so powerful a dolphin could literally see through you if you were swimming with one. We hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know in the comments which one of these animals was your favorite. If you liked the video, then don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll be the first to know when a new video comes out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. All right. Did you enjoy the short video I have prepared for you? Were you fascinated? Okay, if so, can you tell me what was the video all about? Comment down your answers and I will read it one by one. I will wait for you. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, Finding Nemo. So there are still answers coming in. Yeah, that's right. A Bog's Life. Yeah, there are insects there but it is not the title of the movie so it is rio yeah rio one or you two yes el joe hello okay so can you tell me what was the video all about hmm? what have you learned from watching the video mm -hmm. okay yeah it's all about animals that's right okay yeah so have you watched the different and unique characteristics of each and every animal that we have here and of course in our country all right so as we have watched in the video all the representative animals have their own specifications and one of these is their body plan so let's have the slide here organ system of some animals organ system is a set of organs that work together to perform an intricate or complex function in the body as you can see okay so we have simple to complex all right the overall or the animals are com share common characteristics, although they differ in shapes and structures. 
The overall structures of an animal is its body plan. The body plan of an animal determines the lifestyle it leads and the way it functions with its environment. There are four levels of organization. They are classified into, okay, so we have number one, we have the cellular level. Next is we have the tissue level. Next is the organ level. And the last is the organ system level of organization. There is a relationship between the levels of organs organization and how complex in form the animal is. As the animal's form becomes complex, the level of organization becomes higher. Animals which are less complex have cellular or tissue level of organization, such as sponges and cilentarids or the in invertebrate animals. Now, sponges. Did you know that sponges do not have digestive system? Hmm, interesting. If so, how do they process their food? How do they perform digestion? Well, they get their food by doing filter feeding or straining food particles from water. Intracellular digestion occurs inside specialized cell. Okay, so uh, as what the picture shows to us. Next, jellyfish. Did you know that jellyfish aren't actually fish? Hmm? Really? Okay, so jelly-like creatures pulse along on ocean currents and are abundant in cold and warm ocean water, in deep water, or along coastlines. But despite their name, jellyfish aren't actually fish. They are invertebrates or animals with no backbones. Okay, can you follow? Are you still with me? Right, amazing. Okay, so let's have earthworms. Did you know that earthworms do not have lungs? Okay, so if so, how do they breathe? How do they perform respiration? Okay, let's see. Earthworms do not have lungs. Instead, they breathe through their what skin right their skin needs to stay moist to allow the passage of dissolved oxygen into their bloodstream earthworm skin is coated with mucus and they need to live in a humid moist environment fish unlike land animals which have lungs to take in oxygen from the air fish have gills to breathe in the oxygen contained in water. This process of breathing begins when a fish gulps water through its mouth. Amphibians. Okay, so do you know what are the unique characteristics of amphibians? Yes? Well, that's right. So amphibians can live both in water or land. So amphibians includes frogs, toads, salamanders, and newts. These animals can breathe and absorb water through their very thin skin. Mammals. Mammals are described as among the most adaptable animals on Earth. They share common features such as Number one, being warm-blooded, Body temperature stays the same whether we have hot or cold weather. Number two, having hair. So we can style depending on our mood and the trend that we have. Next, having a four-chambered heart. Okay, so what are the four parts of the heart? What are the four chambers? We have the left atrium the right atrium, and 
the left and right ventricles. Okay, can you follow? Amazing. All right, number four, presence of muscles. And with that, we also have a diaphragm that helps in breathing. Next, having four different types of teeth like premolars, canine, molars, and incisors. Number seven, having a highly developed brain. Oh, okay. And number eight, having viviparous females who can give birth to their offspring or young ones. All right. Since everything had been given to you for this lesson, let us answer this activity to have a little summary of our lesson or discussion for today. Ready? Good! Let's start! Okay, so I will flash on the screen a picture and then I will read to you the description and you are going to tell me what organ system is being described. Yes, you will comment your answers in the chat box so I can see it and I can read it. Let's see if you got it right. Ready? Okay. Let's have the first picture. Okay. Okay, do you see it? Animals get oxygen from the environment with this organ system. What do you think? Let's see from the participants. Okay. I'm waiting for your answer. Comment now. Okay. What do you think? So the keyword that we have here is oxygen. Yeah. O2. Yeah, the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. What do you think is the organ system involved here? Okay. All right. So someone says respiratory system. Okay, yeah, that is the correct one. It's respiratory system. So let's see if that's the correct answer. Yeah, Elijah Intal, good job. It's respiratory system, right? Okay, can we have the second picture? Second picture says, Oxygen is supplied to the cells of vertebrate animals through this organ system. This organ system in higher animals is powered by the heart. What do you think is the organ system being described? Okay, let's see. We have here uh, the keyword is supplied to the cells through the or through this organ system, and the heart is the keyword. Yes, you well, kabangon. That's right. It's circular system. Awesome. Elijah, cardiovascular. Yes, that's also right. Okay. All right. Let's have the third word. Thank you so much for participating, guys. Keep it up. Okay. Let's have the third word or the third picture. Okay. What can you see here? So it's like a tree with many branches. So this organ system enables animals to send, receive, and process nerve and sensory impulses. What do you think? Yeah, good job, Yuvel. So how many points do you have now? I think three. Yeah, Yuvel Kabangon got three points. It's nervous system. So what's the keywords? The keywords are nerve and sensory impulses right all right that's the correct answer now are you still there are you still with me okay so we have many participants coming in okay so now let's have the assessment part 
Oh, but before that, let's have a quick break and I will be right back. Make a better 
Department of Education sincerely thank all the organizations and individuals who rallied behind us and supported our mission to deliver education amidst this terrible pandemic. Indeed, it will take an entire nation to raise our children, and in that endeavor, we thank all of you, parents, teachers, personnel, our partners, stakeholders, and all of you for believing and keeping faith with us amidst these challenges. And this is for the future of our country and our children. Your continued support serves as an inspiration for us to further fulfill our duty and overcome all of these varied challenges. Together, let us heal and let us triumph as one. All right, so we are back. Okay, so I'm sure that you already master our topic for today. Are you ready for the assessment part? Okay, so let's put our thinking caps on. Okay, so here you need to answer the question that I will flash on your screen. And then after that, I will also flash the choices. And you are to you are going to comment down the best answer the letter of the best answer okay ready all right so let's start number one okay how many chambers does the heart of mammals have is it letter a one b two c three or letter d Four. Okay, comment down your answers. Which of the following is correct? One, two, three, or four? What do you think? We have the atrium and the ventricles. So how many? Okay, let's see. I'm waiting for your answer. How many chambers does the heart of mammals or humans have? Okay. All right. So we have someone says letter D. Yeah, D four. That is correct. The answer is letter D four. All right. Ready? Yes, Kirill. Good job. It's letter D, four. Kirill de Mesa, thank you so much. That's the correct answer. Okay, thank you, Christina Cassandra. Okay, let's have number two. Which of the following animals are warm blooded? Again, which of the following animals are warm blooded? Is it letter A, snail? Letter B, earthworm. Letter C, dog. Or letter D, frog. A, B, C, or D. Comment down your answer. Okay, Lenny Sarmenta says it's letter C. Is it right? Hmm? Are you sure about that? Okay, let's think about it. Snail, earthworm, dog, or frog? The answer is, is it a snail? Thank you, Nicole. That's a good idea. Do you think it's the right answer? Let's try again. Hmm? Le is it letter B? Thank you, Josephine. Okay, so the correct answer is letter Letter what? It's letter Is it B, Arvilin? Are you sure? Okay 
Okay, so the letter is uh, the correct letter or the correct answer. It's letter C. Okay, let's proceed to number three. Which of the following animals give birth to their young? Okay, again, which of the following animals give birth to their young or to their offspring? Yes, Christina Cassandra, that's right. It's letter C. Thank you so much for participating. Okay, so again, which of the following animals gives birth to their young? Is it letter A, oviparus? Letter B, viviparus? Letter C, ovoviviparus? Or letter D, all of the above? Comment down your answers. I'll give you 15 seconds. Okay, let's see. Marlon says it's letter C, ovo viviparus. Are you sure? Let's think about it. Hmm? Are you sure about that? Is it letter D, all of the above? Hmm? Are you sure? Okay, is it letter A, Lenny, oviparus? Okay, so just remember this part. Ovo, when you see the word ovo, it means egg okay it is an egg so therefore letter a and letter c is not the correct answer because from here we can see that they they reproduce by means of hatching or laying eggs okay so the correct answer is letter b yes it's viviparous all right are you following Mm, how, how many of you got the correct answer? Okay, good job. Let's have the next question. Which of the following does not belong to the group? Is it turtle? Is it snake? Letter C, skink. Or letter D, frog. Comment down your answer and I will read it one by one. Is it A, B, C, or D? Which is or which does not belong to the group? It's letter B. Is it letter B, Snake? Are you sure? Uh, so Lenny, Christina, Julian, Nicole, Kyla, Janeline said, and Sky said it's letter B. Are you sure about that? Oh, okay. So Elijah, very good. It's letter D. It's frog. Why? All of these, letter A, B, and C are what? Letter R. Reptiles, right. And letter D is an amphibian. So frog does not belong here. All right. Is it clear? Thank you, Elijah. That's the correct answer. Okay, number five. All of the following animals are amphibians, except, okay, do we have a toad? We have B, penguin, letter C, salamander, and letter D, newt. Which one does not belong to the amphibian group? Again, toad. Penguin, salamander, or newts? Which one? All right, so that's the correct answer. Very good, James Edward. It's letter B. Awesome, Caleb, that's right. It's letter B. Caleb Samson and James Edward Gomez. You got the correct answer, letter B, penguin. Yes, Honey Grace, hello. That's right. Awesome. Okay, so how many of you got the perfect score? Comment an emoji, a smiley, a smiley emoji, a heart eyes emoji, so I could see how many of you got the perfect score. Let me see. Okay, so we are getting hearts emoji here. Yeah, that means you got the perfect score. Good job on that. All right. Okay, so great for you. So in case or in the event you encountered mistakes or incorrect answers from this assessment, there's no need to worry. You can always go back to your self-learning kit to check and review the concept. 
All right. Have you learned something today? Did you enjoy learning with me? Yes, of course. Thank you so much, guys, for participating today. Thank you for sharing your answers. I really appreciate it. So that's all for today. Once again, I am Mom Kim, your science teacher for today. And together, we will discover science fun facts that will tickle your Kim imagination. Always remember that with science, nothing is Kim possible. Have a great day, everyone. Bye. Makinig manood na sa teleradyo. Makinig manood na sa teleradyo. Teleradyo. Teleradyo Marcelo. Sakit na ng mapanubok na panahon Magkahatid si tatakib at ay diskusyon Sama-sama tayo Kahit... Maraming salamat Binibining Diaz Isa na namang araw ng makabuluhang talakayan ang natapos Ito ang Teleradyo Marcelo Ang telearalan ng bawat Del Pilarian Makinig muli sa susunod para sa panibagong pagkatuto mula lunes hanggang biyernes sa ganap na ikalibang, ikalabing isa ng umaga. Muli, ito ang Teleradyo Marcelo, ang telearalan ng bawat Del Pilarian. Makinig manood na sa Teleradyo Makinig manood na sa Teleradyo Teleradyo 